Here's the opener. We spin Hamilton as a frontier town where might makes right, then... Oh, throw to the highlight reel of Jeske's fights. Yeah. Can I help you? Colleen Blessed. Team president? Oh, Allison Lee, the producer. We're happy to have you here, Allison. Hamilton could use the exposure. Well, you're a little off the network map, but this is a special game. Oh, I know. And it would be special because... Well, with the fight. Of course. The fight. We've been running promos all week. Good fight helps out everywhere, especially the Sun Belt. You made promos? Yeah. Great. I'll be back as soon as I can. What? I'll only be gone a few hours. I'll be back before you know it. You're going? You're leaving? I've got a game, Rayanne. You've got a game? Todd's in trouble. Todd? What does Todd have to do with anything? There's this goon who's after him, and... Todd's a big boy. Todd can take care of himself. He hurt his hand last night, Rayanne. So what are you gonna do? Come riding out of the hills on your white stallion and save the day? I am a hockey player. I was a hockey player when you met me, when you married me, and I am a hockey player now. What you are is a man with a family, and there is a death, a death mark in that family. I'll be back in a few hours. I don't need you in a few hours. I need you right now. We'll talk about this when I get home. Mark, think about what you're doing. Think really, really hard. Yeah. Great, great, you're here. Yeah. Hey, hang on a second. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for coming, honey. What? I said thanks for coming down, Michelle. I really needed you. Look, did you bring the uh, videotape? Good. Now, I need a blue file, all right? It's sitting on my desk. You know, I'm really glad we're talking like this. Hey, hey. It makes me feel like we're a real family. I need you to keep an eye out for Duff McArdle, too, okay? Yeah, I uh, saw him that way. Okay, now who the hell are you? Yeah. You're welcome, Brett. It was nice seeing you, too. Uh. Um. Uh, hi. Hi, Michelle. Um. This probably doesn't look very good. No, no, it, uh, it looks fine. I'm in your father's office at his computer, uh, looking for something. Yeah, that just about sums it up. Do you know his password? Uh, Colleen, I mean, the guy's not the ideal person, but he's my dad, and you're, well, you're, um... I'm waiting for this. Well, you're his boss, and the two of you have this weird kind of competitive thing going on, plus a lot of other stuff that neither of you talk about. That's not a bad summation, Michelle. So I can't help you rifle through his things. I'm sitting here because I think that your father might, and I say might, have done something bad. Well, it's 11 o'clock. I'm sure he's done about two or three bad things by now. I mean, really bad. I'm not going to get involved in this. Uh, I'm not sure, Michelle. He might not have done anything at all. But we have to find out. No, I don't. I think you do. What is it? The American networks are running this game because they believe there's going to be a fight. They've been running promos for it all week. A major fight between Todd Maplethorpe and uh, Frank Dusky. Mm -hmm. But Dusky was suspended for another 10 games. Until Friday, they had no reason to believe that he'd be playing. Unless... Unless Parker knew the suspension would be lifted. Now, I don't know this for sure, but I think that... Uh, your father is basically producing this fight. And so what? Hockey's full of fighting. But this is different. It's premeditated by management. It brings in the numbers. You do stuff like this, Colleen. I mean, you do plenty of bad stuff just to bring in numbers. Yeah? I guess I do. But this is crossing a line. You didn't cross any line. Maybe not. But the answer lies in the computer. Will you help?
You know, uh, if you fight with the tape end, they'll throw you out of the game. Who says I'm gonna fight? Frank Dusky? Look, uh, I want you to know that uh, I'm there for you. What? If push comes to shove, you know, I will uh, push and shove. Come on, Brainiac. You don't believe in fighting. No, but uh, I will. Listen, this kid Dusky, he's the real deal, okay? He broke Jimmy Freeman's jaw. He KO'd Callahan with one punch. Yes, I know. But you and I are friends. Yeah, so I'll handle it, Yuka. You just go score us a few goals. Uh oh, five or six? That'd be good. Yeah, yeah that would be good. So while I appreciate the effusive praise, uh, Hamilton was well on the verge of success before I arrived. Modesty. You don't see a lot of that these days. Well, there were some very important uh, building blocks put in place by the previous general manager, the... the late Ray Malone. Yeah, Ray. Ray was a wonderful guy, wasn't he? Luckily, I, Red Parker, was able to develop his somewhat primitive plan, so that was good. Cut. Oh, sorry. You guys, you guys rolling on that? Excuse us, please. This is impossible. We should just go with the Detroit game. Why would you do that? Hey, come, come on, look, we have a deal, all right? Now, you don't want to miss the fight, do you? Oh, how do I know you'll deliver a fight? You can't even deliver a highlight reel. Oh, yes. Okay. Start with the game, all right? Stay ten minutes. If it's not exciting, then you can cut the buffalo. Detroit. You see? Bland towns. Get them all confused. And where's the colorful Duff McArdle for our interview? Does that mean you're going to stay with the game? It cost us 30 grand to make the animated Hamilton robot. I'll open in Hamilton. All right. Excellent. I'm, uh, ready for my close-up, Miss Lee. I'd like to come over, Sal. I really would. But, you know, I got Andy, and he doesn't really understand what's going on. And Yes, I do. I can't leave him with Mark, because Mark's gone to the game. Yeah, I know, but he's a hockey player. That's right. He's a hockey player and an idiot. And you know what? That's my other line. I got to call you back, OK? Hello? Oh, Uncle Keith, hi. Yeah, I know. I know, he lost so much weight. He just, he lost so much weight. Hi, Rose. Thor, you seen Duff? No, sorry. Parker, uh, Rose, no time. I'm worried. Well, counseling, hey, there's an option. About the fight, I'm worried. What? What about the fight? Come on, you've seen lots of fights. Not like this, not with the build-up and the hype. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? It's wrong. No, it's not wrong, okay? Rose, it's just, uh, it's just showbiz, okay? And for once in your life, could you just once take that look of, what is that, preoccupation off your face and, uh, you know, try to have a little fun? That would be good. Fun. Court. Hey, big man. How's your hand? What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. Oh. Rayanne's father died. Man, that, that sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah. It uh, happened real sudden. You know, it caught us all off guard. When's the funeral? No, uh, well, you know. I, no, no, I, I don't know. But I, I'd like to be there. When is it? But listen, uh, this punk, Dusky, you don't worry about him, all right? Because I'll take care of him. That's not how it works, MC. I look after you. You don't look after me. Yeah, well, today's different, Todd. Yeah, you're hurt, and, uh, you know, I, I really feel like I, uh, I really feel like I want to make someone else hurt, you know what I mean? Just, that's not why you fight, you know? I mean, you, you fight to protect your teammates. Or, or you fight to regulate a hacker or, or to change a game. You shouldn't be thinking personal stuff when you fight. Yeah, that's great, Todd, but uh, who told you that? You did. When I joined this team. There. His phone log. What about it? From Tuesday to Thursday, calls to a 310 area code. Which means... Los Angeles. 
where the court order came from. <laughs> Come on. He can't get court rulings. I mean, he's got friends, but he's not Al Capone. Call the number. Yeah, maybe not. Let's try. It's Sunday. Edelman and Hill, so what? Edelman and Hill are the law firm who filed the appeal on behalf of the L.A. franchise and Frank Dusky. Parker called them seven times in two days. This is his show. <laughs> 